Hi, I'm Errol, and today I'm going to talk about my top five considerations when trying to choose between a chassis solution and a stack switching solution. Both of them have similarities. Uh, they both have a lot of ports, they both have redundancy, and they both have centralized management where you can get to a lot of ports from one place and configure them all. In most situations in a network, people will put the chassis in the core and the switches on the edge. That may work for some people, but maybe not all people. All networks are different. So here we are with the top five considerations I believe would help you make a decision. So my number one consideration is price. Everybody's concerned about price, whether something's gonna to be too expensive, is it gonna be cheap enough but still manage your network? Well, chassis tend to be more expensive. There's a lot of parts in it. You're talking about power supplies, fan trays, the blades that go into it. So it's gonna be a more expensive uh, price than the switches. Uh, that brings me into number two, where port count. How many ports do you need? Generally they say the magic number is 144, where once you hit 144 in a stack switching solution, it's more economic to go to a chassis solution, where you'll make up the money somehow. My number three consideration would be reliability. Chassis tend to have better airflow, so they will break down as much as maybe a switch might break down. Uh, power supplies, uh, some switches, some of the you know, more advanced switches nowadays have removable power supplies, but chassis have uh, bigger power supplies, many options for power supplies, and also multiple power supplies. Some chassis have six power supplies, some have three, as opposed to where a switch may only have one removable or two removable for redundancy. Also, uh, reliability, uh, a dead switch. When a switch goes down a stack, you pretty much have to take it out the rack, um, put a new one in, connect it back up. With the chassis, a lot of the, the blades are hot swappable. You just pull it out, put the new one in, and you're up and going again. Number four would be features. Chassis tend to have more advanced features um, that some switches may not have. There's chassis that you can put a firewall in to do things with. Um, just they have bigger processes. They can handle more. My number five consideration would be longevity. Chassis tend to have a longer lifespan than switches. You've seen things like the Cisco 6500 around for years, whereas um, a new technology comes out with a switch, they come out with a new switch. When Gig first came out, there were 10100 switches, there's nothing you can do about it, you have to get a new switch. Whereas with a chassis, you just take out the blade, that's 10100, you put in a 10100 1000. Same thing goes from Gig to 10 Gig. Okay, so that's been my top five considerations on trying to decide between a chassis solution and a switched stack solution. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for viewing.